It's time once again for another episode of Georgia Business Radio. Broadcasting live from the Pro Business Channel studios in Atlanta. And now here's your host, Rich Casanova. All right, we got a great uh, spotlight segment here coming up on Georgia Business Radio. Joining us today is Rob Garf. He's the VP of Industry Strategy and Insights for Salesforce Retail. Uh, here to discuss other, those predictions for shoppers this holiday season is Rob. Uh, Rob, welcome to the show. Good morning, Rich. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we were just talking before we went on the air. Um, you have a large presence. I'm sure you said you were in our the tower here, the Salesforce Tower in Buckhead recently. That's right. Yeah, we're psyched to have a great presence and just announced recently the Salesforce Tower in Atlanta. And yeah. I'm actually joining a little north of you in the uh, <laughs> New York Tower looking over Bryant Park today. Yeah, if we think it's cold up uh, down here, I'm sure it's a little bit uh, uh, dicier up there. So um, let's jump into this here. So um, as we mentioned about Cyber Monday, Black Friday, this is obviously in your wheelhouse. So uh, so statistically, the, the latest news, I guess, is more orders this year expected from phones and tablets than actually our computers. Um, yes or yes? That's exactly right. The headline this year will be mobile all the time. We're seeing about uh, 68% of traffic and 46% of orders that will go specifically through the mobile device this holiday. And I guess it shouldn't be a huge, huge surprise. You know, I know for me and, and most of us, the phone has become the remote control to basically our daily lives. So it's not going to be much different this holiday season. I agree. So, uh, so we're not shopping with fax machines anymore, is what you're saying? <laughs> no <laughs> fax so orders, but even so, <laughs> computers and tablets are on the uh, waning as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's talk uh, AI. We've been using some AI, artificial intelligence, here in the studio. Now, um, where does this come into play as far as those products, and how are they expected to drive holiday revenue this year? Yeah, more and more retailers are embracing artificial intelligence or AI to drive personalized and relevant engagement. And where it really plays out is through product recommendations. And I think Amazon has conditioned us to look for that if you bought this, you might like that that's buried at the end of the page. But what retailers and brands are now doing is, based on all the data that they're collecting about the consumer, both what you know they're sharing in terms of their address and other things. They're also providing and collecting data with every tap, with every click, with every swipe around profile information, preferences, what brands you like, what fabric you like, what colors you like, and taking all of that, layering on top AI and driving product recommendations and playing back to the point around mobile, that becomes so much more important with the small form factor, not to bury the product recommendation after five or six swipes down the phone, but put it there above the fold front and center. And we're seeing actually, Rich, that this holiday season, our data through Salesforce predicts that 35% of all revenue will be generated from product recommendations that are derived with artificial intelligence. That's crazy. I mean, it really is machine learning at its best, which used to be kind of, uh, you know, people concerned about. Really, it makes life a lot more efficient and uh, convenient and so forth, right? It absolutely does. I mean, the reason why phone transactions weren't as prolific is, let's face it, retailers and brands made it really difficult for us as consumers, made it really (laughs) clunky. And with AI, uh, machine learning, as you say, it really does allow us to fulfill that old adage of putting the right product at the right place at the right time. But now we're able to do that at scale at a one-to-one basis. So um, so we mentioned, uh, you mentioned the holidays and comes up. So what about when are people expected to, um, I mean, you're collecting data on this. Uh, what's the hot points as far as, you know, times they'll be shopping this year? Yeah, we're seeing a, a shift and, and consumers are shopping earlier than later. We see that about 50% of all shopping will be done by December 2nd. That's about a week after Cyber Monday. But I think what's more interesting is, of course, we knew Black Friday was all about getting your car, right. going to the store, <laughs> waiting in line, getting the you know, door buster, but also dealing with all the crowds. And we saw a big uptick in sales there. 
hence the name Black Friday going right. out of the red and into the black. Right. And then in 2005, the National Retail Federation coined the term Cyber Week, which really um, captured the phenomenon of people going back to work, getting high speed connectivity and right. being able to purchase <laughs> online where they weren't able to before. And now what we're seeing is the actual purchases, again, through mobile devices via access and convenience, doing it even earlier, Thanksgiving evening after you're eating your turkey and sitting on the <laughs> Once couch. Once you wake up, yeah. And so, um, so let's talk about, let's pivot to social media and the influence on shopping behavior because, I mean, that's, um, like you mentioned, Black Friday to Cyber, Cyber Monday. Now social media is is so prominent, how does that impacting the shopping behavior? Yeah, I think you hit upon a really interesting topic. You know, social media, generally speaking, has really increased in influence. We are generally going to Facebook, Instagram, other social platforms to get inspiration, to discover product, really talk to our network, our friends, our family, our colleagues to understand and help influence what we should purchase. And what we're seeing this holiday season specifically is Instagram will be the winner. It's growing at a three times higher rate as it relates to social traffic going and driving consumers to websites or stores. Don't get me wrong. Facebook is still hanging in there, but it's decreasing a little bit in prominence. And it becomes more important for brands and retailers to engage those consumers in a meaningful way on these platforms that are oftentimes off of the retailer's property. Yeah, I mean, the operative word there is Insta, right? So people are looking for that um, that quick insight or some input or some ideas. Uh, I concur 100%. Instagram is definitely on fire. It's the um, It has not so much, in addition to all the following, all the activity in terms of shopping, the visual piece, and so forth. So um, you mentioned about personalized experiences you know, uh, anything you want to add to that as far as way people shop or some of the other data you might be um, collecting in that regard? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's actually probably important that Salesforce, we collect data given our commerce platform, and it amounts to about a half a billion shoppers on a quarterly basis. So we really become the de facto standard of not what consumers say they're going to do, but right. what they're actually doing. They're buying behavior and actual purchases. So for every tap, for every click, as I mentioned, we're collecting that. And on the personalization front, it's not just happening online. It's happening in the store as well. We're hearing, obviously, a lot of headlines about the retail apocalypse and the stores are going away. And, and that's not the case. The stores are being reinvented, for sure. And part of that is arming store associates with the same intelligence, with the same information that consumers have, not just focusing Rich, on the checkout, which is all about, hey, get the people through the queue as fast as possible, but also what I'll call the check-in, which is allowing the store associates, the biggest brand ambassador, to influence and through personalized engagement that store associate. I'm sorry, that consumer. Yeah, I mean, really, uh, with Salesforce, I mean, it's just a, you know, global, uh, you guys have uh, your hand in so many, you know, places. Um, it's, it, and with that data, if a business is, you know, integrated or with the Salesforce platform, it allows those businesses to be able to pivot with that updated information in real time, be able to react to what's, you know, happening, uh, on the, on the fly, right? There's a lot of agility with the platform, of course. And, you know, it's not just about point solutions anymore by channels. Retailers have, popped up different technologies, innovation by channels for many different years. But yeah, you're right, with our platform across marketing, so being able to attract the consumer to commerce, to be able to allow that consumer to purchase more effectively, to service after the purchase and through the advocacy, uh, we do have uh, this platform that really enables what retailers are looking for, but more importantly, what consumers are looking for, which is a seamless, a personalized, a relevant engagement across the entire touch points, no matter whether that's online, offline, or really anywhere in between. All right. Well, Rob, we really appreciate your time. Again, uh, once again, this is uh, Rich Casanova on Georgia Business Radio, conversation with Rob Garf, the VP of Industry Strategy and Insights for Salesforce Retail. So, Rob, what's our call to action? How would folks uh, find out more information? Well, what I say is go to salesforce.com. We have our shopping index that's not only prevalent for the holiday season, but throughout the entire year. And I would just say happy shopping. (laughs) Exactly. All right, man. Uh, Next time you're in Atlanta, stop by the studio and uh, have a great week. Thanks, Rich. Thanks for having me on. 
All right, take care. Bye. Thank you again for joining Rich Casanova and our guests on the Pro Business Channel. Use the social media links here to share today's show and stay tuned for the next episode of Georgia Business Radio.